all right welcome back everybody to another video where we will try to make our own unreal multiplayer action roguelike roguelike roguelite game uh, from scratch um, so let's just keep going at it this one will probably be a short one um, also I apologize the first two ones were quite poor quality I had the wrong OBS settings hopefully this should be better so we will see once we're done uh, but yeah in this one we are making an action game so why not start with combat might as well so in this one we will start with um just replicating montages that's probably gonna be the first thing because uh, we're gonna need to do that a lot and that's what we're gonna use to drive our attack animations and stuff like that so Replicated montages, that's gonna be a shared function because it's gonna be done both by the NPCs and the master player. So we wanna go into our master character in this case. Uh, and we are gonna do a new graph. And shared functions Make a custom event here called server play montage and I'm gonna make a new one called multi play montage This event will be running on the server, and this will be a multicast. So we're gonna make a function to replicate the play anim montage node. Because uh, by default, if we just if we just add input here. Say we would do an attack animation. Left mouse button. That would mean we would do the montage. But in that case, this will only happen to the client actually pressing this because it's not replicated at all. So we need an event. We need a replicated function to actually do this. So uh, how does this work? Uh, if we are so in order for all clients to see this we need to multicast it because it's a one-off event you have several ways to replicate stuff all the time we can either just use replicated variables we could use rep notify functions or we could multicast and those are basically the main three ones that we need uh, in this case when it comes to stuff like this multicasts is the way to go because we want to quick it's it's a one an animation montage is a one-off event basically it fires once and if you're not connected to the game or if you're in somewhere else you don't really need to see it so multicasts share what happened to all clients that are net relevant at that point so players that are close enough basically uh, so we want to multicast this play any montage node um, and we're gonna pass through the animation montage so that we can plug that in from client side that's probably another note now that i think about it that i should say is what we're striving to do here is a co-op multiplayer action roguelite game uh something like uh, risk of rain maybe or raven's watch that released not too long ago things like that uh it's not huge massive multiplayer mmos so I'm not going to pay too much attention to actually make everything server authoritative. Uh, uh, but we will do we will do it in wherever we can, but it's not it's it might, might not be the intended design for MMOs where everything needs to be sheet sheet proved and stuff like that. Uh, and that's generally way more work, so we're gonna keep keep it fairly basic but anyway uh, in order for a uh, 
multicast to work, it needs to be sent from the server to all other clients. So basically, when we press this button as a client, we need to tell the server that we want to do a uh, we want to do this animation. The server then needs to approve that. That's where anti sheet and stuff comes in for like MMOs and shit and, and huge games like that. But we're not gonna focus too much on that. The server should here approve that, and if the server approves it, it's gonna send it to everybody. So here you would have logic for like, can you really attack? And we might impress, we might move stuff like that in there later. But for now, we're just gonna keep it to the basic. Uh, but for instance, it could be you can't attack if you're dead. So we would have checks here before we actually do multicasting, and the checks would be on the server side so that the client can tamper with it. That's mostly if you do like dedicated server stuff. Uh, the listen server will always be able to mixture with this anyway. So if it's a listen server game, the server is free to sheet anyway. Um, so yeah, we're gonna plug this in here. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So we need to tell the server here. So what we could do is here we could, in from this input, we could just call server play montage. And then I want to input what montage I should play. Uh, and I have some example attack animations here that I stole from... Uh, um, Paragon and Mixamo. So I'm just gonna plug one in here for now. Mixamo is free to share, so that's why I'm using that. And you can see we are now playing an animation. And if I do two, go listen server. You see, this is a client. You see, it's replicating. If I make it smaller. You can see it's replicating here as well. And if I play as two clients, it should also work. Yeah. So that works. That's the most basic iteration of it that you could ever do. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to try to set it up more properly, as I said in the intro video. Uh, so what we want to do here is we want to make another function called replicated play montage. We're gonna make an input in it. It's gonna be an anime montage. It's gonna be called montage to play. I'm sorry about my keyboard. I need to buy a new one. It sounds so. I like the clicky sound, but it's not ideal for YouTube videos. Uh, oh yeah. Mm. And here, now we need to do because, as I said before. Uh, Multicasts needs to be made from the server. So if we are already on the server, we don't actually need to do this call. We can just straight up do the multicast call. So, um, and since this is mostly gonna aiming aim at uh, listen server, the server, the, the person who plays as the server, the person who hosts the game, doesn't actually need to do the entire server call. So in here we would do switch as authority, which basically is are we the host or not. And if we have authority, we're just gonna straight up multi multi play montage. But if we're not, we're gonna do server play montage. And we're gonna grab the montage to play. So if we are a client, we're going to pass it on to the server. The server should verify it here. It's going to be sent to the... Uh, and then the server will multicast it to all other clients. So that should now still work. No, because from here, we're not going to do server play montage. We're instead going to do replicated play montage. So that's this function we made here. 
we're gonna grab this function again, uh, this animation again. You can see it still works on the clients. But if I play as listen server, you can see it still works. So the difference here is if I go here and if I print string here, uh, pass to server, you see the server instantly calls this multiplay montage because we are already on the server. So if I play again, you can see on the server there is no print string. But if I play on the client, it needs to be passed to the server first. So that means that we're actually calling that function. So there we go. And replicated play montage is now a function here inside of the master character for reusability because we're going to need to do that a lot. And we're going to be nice and we're going to comment. And RPC stands for remote procedure call, which is what we're doing here. These events are RPCs. So this is an RPC to the server. This is an RPC to multicast. So RPCs for playing directly for directly animation montages. And this also replicates the root motion and everything that is inside of the animation montages as well. Let's color it. Go. All right. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, in the next video, we're going to actually use this function to set up a probably a combo system for attacking. So we can see how that works. All right. See you in the next one. And let me know in the comments if there is any questions. Peace.